As you can see behind me, I scored the Halo Mega Bloks jackpot on Facebook Marketplace. One of the best deals I've ever found. I was organizing this ready for sale and I just had to show you all. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a haul to remember. Oh my goodness, look at all those elephants. So we're gonna start, whoa, as we always do with the figures. There's not particularly that many super rare figures, but a lot of great ones all the same. It's always really fun to organize these. I got the new articulation. For some reason, they liked collecting blue enforcers. I don't really know why. We got a Jewel and Dharma, which is always fun. And look at those original Halo War Spartans. You know, I think for as long as I live, they'll never get old. I just think they are such a beautiful piece of nostalgia and something I'm gonna lean into heavily in the future. And I should mention, all of these are going to be on sale on my brand new website. I'm currently building it. I'm not sure if it's gonna be ready within the next month, but it is really, really exciting. And it's gonna incorporate both myself and my selling, and then also a ton of extra features to help boost the community. So we got a load of Halo 3 era. I love all those EVAs next to each other and the CQBs as well. Scout. We got a few that aren't Halo 3 era. Like you can tell this collector definitely, you know, had the first few years, led into Halo 4, moved away, then came back for a couple of new articulation pieces. We got some Marines, a couple of ODSTs. I love that red one. Onto some more Marines. It is also clear that maybe they bought lots of different figures and vehicles in the past because some of them don't line up to the actual vehicles available. The Arbiter, for example, we have no Phantom, but we have that. It's great to see an Arbiter in good condition. Sometimes the neck does snap on that figure. A really nice flood tank and then a ton of the original elites, all the very first mold down to the second generation and oh my goodness I love that original shipmaster with the Wraith. A couple of snowbound figures as well but no vehicles or bases to complement them. Onto some flight elites and commandos down there and then some brutes and I've always loved this cobalt one. It's from the cobalt combat unit. We've got most of the figures from that set in this hall. Over to blues and purples, lots of basic brutes, chieftains, jump pack brutes, and then grunts all the way to jackals, a skirmisher, and a flood elite. And would you look at that, a new articulation hunter from the Wasp Onslaught. We have a 100% complete Wasp Onslaught, I think minus the Marine, I don't know where that went. The Knight Battle Wagon from the uh, second Pelican, lovely. So a really good haul of figures. Like again, not crazy ones, but still really good to see. And now we're gonna move on to the vehicles. Now what I always do with these hauls, I'll buy them, they're about 95% complete, then I'll use my personal collection, which is meticulously organized, to bolster them up to 100% completion. So. Um, minus that one brick, I need to replace that. I keep on re forgetting to actually do that. We have two Prowlers looking nice and majestic. Two of these uh, Chieftain Choppers. One of them I had to replace with a silver end piece, but yeah, they are basically 100% complete. Apparently, the Locust has just shot up in value recently. It's like selling on American eBay for like 65 bucks. That's pretty cool to see. And this Covenant Watchtower. Now, believe it or not, I have never owned this before, which I know you're thinking, Domain, how have you not owned that? Listen, I, I wasn't collecting at that time. I was living in China. I couldn't get access to the sets properly. So it went under my radar, but now I finally have it. A lot of these sets, I'm always just like, it'll come to me naturally one day. Cauldron Clash, an iconic set, one of the best. And that one actually came with the box. Look at that, beautiful. Down to some Covenant reinforcements, a Banshee, two Gokes. They never really go for much of any value, but this guy does about 45 to 50 bucks for one of these bad boys, the Halo 4 Wraith and actually really excited to see that 100% complete. When I got the haul originally, I did not think it would be. We got a regular chopper that took a lot of my actual extra pieces to uh, make into 100% complete. It was missing a lot of pieces. And the Jewel and Dharma ghost, so we can add that to the Jewel and Dharma. We got a banished ghost back there as well. They are worth pennies. But the short sword is starting to climb in value as well. It's really just vehicles. Well, it's not exclusively, but it's a lot of vehicles that have just only ever had one release. I mean, go figure, they would climb in value naturally. Talking about something that does also climb in value, a gremlin, but not just one gremlin, not just two gremlins, three gremlins. And it, again, took a lot of my, uh, you know, spare pieces to build these up, but absolutely worth it. And you can see what vehicles I've been skimming past while I was showing those gremlins. A pelican, not one, not two, bought three original pelicans and they are all missing these pieces here. 
It, you know it's a good collection or you know you're bidding on something good if those two antenna pieces are attached because they almost never are. They fall off so easily so there's barely any, you know, left over that are 100% complete. Oh, the assault on high ground. Unfortunately, the ghost is missing one of the turrets. I really don't know how to replace that, but this is looking spectacular. I just wish Mega did more map builds like this. I absolutely adore it. Quick little pivot to what we've got going on up here. Um, you know, a lot of the pieces are just in this mixed bucket, and I'm going to sell that um, as just a job lot of bricks eventually. But I did want to keep all of these pieces, as well as a near complete close quarters drop pod and a ton of like flood scenery pieces, floodgate scenery pieces, and then all the weapons there as well. Coming on down to the UNSC vehicles three mongoose, mongai, mongoose, a spade, which is for some reason, like every spade is missing like some of these um, mirrors. And this has got two left mirrors for whatever reason. Gauss hog, also something that's climbing in price a bit. The blue rocket hog, the Arctic rocket hog, the red troop transport, the two Halo Infinite sets in this range, the wasp onslaught, warthog rally. And then of course, four, count them, four elephants. Now, they're not all 100% complete, so I thought what I would do is I would use one for scrap parts. This is just, it's been torn apart, and also it was built by a kid, I assume, with a really strange weapons rack. I don't know why they put it in like that. But yeah, we got three that are 100% complete, and I used all the scrap pieces of that one to sort of build them up, make sure they were complete. All in all, a magnificent haul, if you ask me. I mean, when would you ever be able to come across four, four elephants, three gremlins, and three pelicans? It's absolutely exceptional. Everything else is good. Obviously, the locust is good to have. The watchtower, I'm really happy to actually... Like, it's also rare that I can add something to my collection for the first time. And then the figure lot is just, you know, really fun cannon fodder. And I'm obviously going to make sure all of these vehicles have the appropriate figures. So let me know what you think of this haul down below. When's the last time you were able to find a Halo Mega haul? I'm going to make a tips and tricks video eventually on how to find these hauls. But yeah, this was just a Facebook Marketplace listing. I got lucky. And then I also was willing to, you know, do a large journey to pick these up. But uh, it was totally worth it. It took about three days to build build the collection back up from, you know, scrap pieces into this gorgeous amount of vehicles and iconic uh, scenery we have now. And yeah, three days well spent, honestly. Like I said, this is eventually going to go on my website and I'm going to have more details about that in the future. But thank you very much for tuning in and thanks for the support in the channel as always. You stay awesome, you stay safe. The Halo 4 Marine, I've always just loved this figure so much. Signing off, see you next time.